What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, where legends never die. I've got a lot to get through today. Uh, I've had stuff piling up, uh, but hey, such is life with a newborn, uh, but I'm totally okay with that. Love you, Luca. So I've got three contests I want to do an entry for. One that is too late, but I'm still going to do it anyways, because he's a deserving channel and I want to give him the shout out. Uh, that's John, Wade Boggs fan, who recently celebrated 500 subs. Congratulations, John. He wanted us to share our cards we can never sell, also known as our coffin cards. Uh, one to five cards, he said. And I will show off what those are in my collection, uh, cards that I can never sell if I had to get rid of everything else uh, for some reason, the ones that I'd have to hold on to. So I'll share those uh, and leave a link to his channel. Secondly, uh, Don, Don Fields of Dreams cards with his 273rd subscriber contest. Uh, Don's pretty new to YouTube, but I love Don's channel. Uh, we've really bonded over our love of raw cards. Anyways, he wanted us to show off just something that he would enjoy. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So I'm sure there'll be a few things that you enjoy, Don, uh, but I will show one card specifically just for you, my friend. Then thirdly uh, is a contest that's kind of for two people. Uh, first of all, it is for Reindeer Studios. Rocking the Chief Wahoo just for you, Scott. Uh, he wanted us to put together a lineup with art cards as he celebrates 1,039 subscribers. Congratulations, Scott. Uh, so I will share off those cards. And Sean Teeford is also doing a contest where he wants you to share art cards as well and tell who your favorite artist is. I'll go ahead and lead this off by sharing who my favorite sports artist is. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you may think that it is Dick Perez because of the Perez Steel postcards. I do love those, they're a big part of my collection. But my favorite sports artist, sincerely, is Scott from Reindeer Studios. And I'm not just saying that uh, to make him feel good. Scott does an incredible job on his artwork. He's also a huge part of this community. He's done a lot of cool things, a lot of cool pieces uh, for people throughout the community. Uh, his 11d8 contest is one of my favorite things to watch when a lot of times it has nothing to do with sports. Uh, but he also has a lot of amazing artwork he's done for people. I own a few pieces of it myself uh, that he's sent to me. So maybe it's just that he sucked up enough by sending me a sketch of Chomsky Leopardi squints from the Sandlot that I can brag on him here, but sincerely, Scott, man, you're the best. You're my favorite. All right. So let's get to those contest entries. And then after that, stick around because I'm going to show off some mail that's been piling up. So a big mail day, a lot of cool things, Hall of Fame, vintage, lots of cool stuff. So stick around. Let's get to the cards. All right, guys. So let's get to showing off parts of my collection and look at some cards. First of all, John Wade Boggs fan, congrats again on 500 subs. He wants us to share the cards we could never sell, our coffin cards, the ones we'd never get rid of if we had to get rid of everything else. Let's lead it off with my original dream card, my original Holy Grail. A lot of you don't know this, but uh, I was a basketball collector first. Uh, I'm a huge Tar Heel fan. Uh, those trait of Tar Heel fandom run deep in uh, my dad's side of the family. So my original Grail card, my Michael Jordan rookie. Uh, it's a PSA 5, one of the only cards that's graded in my collection, and uh, probably the only one that will stay graded in my collection. So the Michael Jordan rookie. Next up, also related to that, we'll keep it with the basketball theme. Uh, another card I always wanted, not necessarily this one, but it is part of a set that I'm doing that I need to show off on YouTube sometime. Uh, 2009-10 Upper Deck, North Carolina. There's my Michael Jordan autograph. MJ in UNC Uni. Love to have a Bulls one someday, but huge Tar Heel fan, so I'm not sad about that. All right. Both of my last two coffin cards, ironically, had to do with the Sandlot in a roundabout way. Uh, first of all, I'm a Braves fan. 
And uh, this card is actually depicted in the movie uh, for the Braves. So tough to not go with my Hank Aaron rookie card, which I'm very glad I got it when I did. Uh, I paid $325 for this card years ago, and needless to say, it is more than that now. But that's my Hank Aaron Ricky. Being a Braves guy, Hall of Fame guy, vintage guy, it being in the same lot, could never sell that one. And finally, my second dream card, Holy Grail, if you will, uh, and my baseball Holy Grail, the one I always wanted. Also having to do with the same lot as... Uh, a lot of it pertains to this player, and that is Babe Ruth. That's my Babe Ruth Perez steel cut autograph. Also, I'd love to show this thing off any chance I get. I mean, when you own a Babe Ruth autograph, that's what you're supposed to do, right? So that's my last coffin card. Now, for the next contest for Don's Field of Dream cards, 273 subscribers. He wants us to show off. Uh, just something that he'd like, something that he'd be interested in. Well, number one, this stand was from Don, which I love. So thank you again for that, Don. It'll be featured throughout the video. So I hope you like that. Uh, but the card that I want to show off specifically for you, Roberto Clemente, 1955 Tops, rookie card, raw. Just like you love your cards in your collection, Don. A raw Clemente. Busted that bad boy out myself. I thought of you the whole time. <laughs> Hope you like that one for your Pittsburgh Pirates, man. And being a vintage guy, I know you're actually going to like my entry for the last contest here for Scott at Reindeer Studios, who wants to put together a lineup uh, of art cards. Uh, they could be early vintage that was art. They could be Perez Steel postcards, modern art, Project 70, if you buy that stuff. Whatever you like. So here we go. This guy is an Indians fan. So it is only fitting that Bob Feller is my pitcher. Let's scoot this up just a little bit so you guys can see these better. There's Bob Feller, who will be pitching for my team. Uh, one of the only non-Hall Famers in this group. Sherman Lawler, who I chose because he's depicted in his catcher's gear, which is really cool on this 53 tops. And uh, you'll notice a theme as I keep going. These are all going to be 1953 tops. I put together the best lineup I could with them. I think they are the most iconic art set ever made. I love this set. And while I, I don't have Mantle or Mays, uh, I put together the best lineup I could. Um... I just thought it was a really cool way to show off one of my vintage sets that I don't show off very often. So first base will be Johnny Mize. Second base, this has become a huge card. Uh, Jackie Robinson will be playing second base. He's the number one card in the set, making it a little bit tougher, not to mention the fact that it's Jackie. Uh, glad I bought that for 100 bucks years ago, uh, as it's definitely not anymore. Next, uh, shortstop. Phil Rizzuto, Scooter, nice looking card there. And then at, at third base, you know I've got to get one of my Braves in there. There's my Eddie Matthews, very underrated Hall of Famer, underappreciated. Uh, he was overshadowed by Hank Aaron, of course, his entire career. And while I, I know you probably like all these, Don, here's another one for you. Ralph Kiner from your Pirates. We've got a few more, Scott. I hope you're liking these art cards. Here's Monty Urban playing in my outfield. Then uh, I got three more. There's Arrestus Mini Minoso, as you may know him, as part of my outfield. Not a Hall of Famer, but wanted to include Mini. Lots of fans out there. And then Scott, specifically for you, man, I decided to have a DH and... Uh, not a Hall of Famer, but he was an MVP and a, a really good player, uh, Al Rosen. I also chose him as my DH, as this is also part of Sean Tiford's uh, contest, and he's a big fan of Rosen, big collector of Rosen, so I wanted to include him. And finally, for a, a 1953 set, you got to have a 1953 manager, right? 
And here is Chuck Dressen, who is a manager for the Brooklyn Dodgers that year from 53 Tops. So that's my entry for Scott's contest. Now, finally, I had some mail stack up that I wanted to get to. I wanted to show you guys. Hitting a few different things. Uh, my COMC mail day finally came in. And I, I completed some collecting goals for 2021 and I got in some cool cards. First up, here's a uh, 1951 Bowman. That's Sibby Sisty, a Brave. Uh, trying to hit at least one card from every set this year that I collect. There's one of my collecting goals. So there's Sibby Sisty, 51 Bowman. Now, uh, a run that you'll see a theme here. I mentioned I collect UNC, and I try and get one autograph of every UNC basketball player that has certified autographs, uh, preferably in Carolina Uni. So I did that for a few guys. Uh, my goal was to add one this year, one Carolina autograph. And uh, that one does it right there, Wayne Ellington. I had him in a pro uniform already, uh, but there he is in Carolina. Got a few more of those. Marvin Williams, same kind of deal. Already had him in pro uniform, but now I've got him in UNC Uni. Jackie Manuel, my first autograph of him. Great defensive player on the 05 team. Bryce Johnson, a more recent player. First autograph of him. And Brandon Wright, who is a one-year player at Carolina. Uh, kind of flopped in the pros. Should have stayed in college longer, but he doesn't have a college uni, so I got a pro uniform autograph of him. So I've added five UNC autographs to the PC, completing that goal of wanting to hit one this year. Next up, got some more vintage. Uh, first, let's do some 47 to 66 exhibits. Love these cards, the oversized cards. They're so cool. There's Walker Cooper. Billy Goodman, the Leap variation. Johnny Sane, go Braves, baby. Who, by the way, are in the NLCS. Very unlikely, but I'm pretty happy about it. Who cares if they don't win anymore? I hope they do, but hey, they kept the division streak alive, if nothing else, and uh, made us all proud by uh, knocking out the Brewers. Sorry, Scott. Scotty tradition. There's a uh, Henry Hank Sauer. And Earl Torgerson, another Brave. So some hits to my 47 to 66 exhibit set I'm working on. If you guys didn't know, I was working on it already. Uh, a couple more different hits that you don't see every day here on YouTube. Uh, there is a Gil McDougald. That is a 1952 Redman card set I'm working on. My first hit to that set this year. So hitting another different set. And a Mickey Vernon, that's a 1955 Redman. Uh, my first hit to that set this year. Yet another vintage set that I'm working on. I'm working on several. <laughs> I think it's 46 different sets I'm still actively working on. They're vintage. Yeah, I'm a crazy person. Uh, finally, uh, from COMC, we've got some Perez Steel Autograph postcards, baby. There's Bobby Doerr, a Hall of Fame autograph I had, but not on a Perez Steel, as I'm doing all the Perez Steel autographs. Got him. Then uh, my second autograph of this player, Eno Slaughter, who is a native North Carolinian. He's a Tar Heel baby. So another one of him, Perez Steel. Love it. And Don, another pirate. Very pirates. Uh, video here. Ralph Kiner, uh, my second autograph of him as well. And then finally, one I got back, not from COMC, but Garrett Cardcutter uh, submitted this for me, and I, I purchased it from Mike Baseball Collector, so a few different YouTubers involved here. But uh, it's uh, Duke Snyder, the Duke. Got that one slabbed up. Yes, I got a card slabbed up for authenticity purposes for the autograph. Uh, not my first Duke autograph, but Perez Steele that I needed of him. So, thank you guys for watching. Again, congratulations to John, Sean, 
Scott, and Don for all their contests. Uh, if you stuck with me this long, thank you. God bless you. And uh, I hope you'll tune in again.